Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly. This is a, a Second Genesis Advancing No Movement sermon on Thoughts on Prayer. Oh, no, no, sorry, God Answers Prayer 2. This is a Second Genesis sermon. This is the continuation, this is the second book of Genesis. It's not Genesis chapter 2, it's the second book of Genesis phase. Uh, we'll go on, we'll, we'll, the, the third phase will not be called Second Genesis, it'll be something different. But there'll, there'll probably be a third phase. This second phase has, um, it'll, it'll have two million words in the Angel Saga in it. And um, it'll have, that's uh, the, the general commitment. Rainbow Bibles will be expanded upon. And there the, the will probably be. Um, I'll be I'll be working on this second phase until I'm about 86 to nearly 87. Just over 86 into my 87th year. So um, I'll be working on this for 42 years. So I'll get a lot of if I live that long. I'll, I'm hoping to. I think I've got the prayers to justify it. I've got a um a lot of videos. So most will be videos which I'm doing. The Rainbow Bibles will be expanded upon in the second Genesis phase of their development. And uh, the Angel Saga will have another two million words. You get it up to four million words in total. It's the second Genesis phase. And that completes the Daniel Daily notion. And uh, yes, there'll be a lot of videos. Uh, I'll probably get, oh gosh, maybe 20,000 videos done, maybe more in the time. So there'll be a lot of videos being done. A lot of comedy dolls, a lot of music videos, a lot of um, sermons, a lot of Noah Hyde information, album reviews and thoughts on life and things like that. The standard sort of stuff, I won't, I won't deviate from that. It won't change terribly much. There'll be occasions of things here and there, but generally that's the standard pattern which I'm establishing. Um, obviously, with, especially the sermon material, I'll repeat ideas quite a bit. You'll hear similar ideas expressed in different ways. But I'll be developing the religious idea and ideals of the advancing our movement and strengthening it and uh, probably repeating so many sermons you'll, you'll hear repeated, but just in a different expression, just in a different paraphrase in a way. So same old ideas, same old sermons a lot of the time, just paraphrased differently with new angles. There will likely be new angles and new ways of looking at that thing within them. A lot of the time original material, but there will probably be paraphrases as well and repetition and things like that will naturally be a part of it as I develop the faith. So this is a second Genesis, uh, uh, the, probably the first sermon I suppose, the last one was introductory material, but this is the, the sermon on thoughts, uh, God answers prayers too. And one thing I want to stress from what I've learned is that your faith can affect the world. What you pray for, you can choose what you pray for. God won't answer if it's some if it's too if it's evil he's not going to answer it if it's too bizarre you know you'll have to discuss it with him for a while before he's really going to take any interest in it and the best way to get answers on your prayers is to pray a passage of Torah um, or a formal prayer which is a basis of the prayer prayed over and over and over again until that prayer becomes holy um, uh, formal prayer books, yeah, they work. That's how it is actually done. So you pray the prayer, and if you've got a request for a particular need, you um, you write it down in a formal way to God, and you pray the prayer. It's, I, I utter it out loud. I think that's the best way to do it personally. Uh, you don't have to pray in front of people, you know, but in your own room, you know, you pray your prayer, and, you know, you go on praying it for a long, long time to get good results, better results, the more it's prayed and the more it's persevered with, the better its results. The best idea to me is to sanctify the prayer for using a passage of the, the Bible to sanctify the prayer. This is my prayer request um, for the sanctification and prosperity of this particular idea, Lord God. And I, and I offer Psalm 4 for the sanctification and uh, achievement of this prayer request. Or whatever words which suit you. And then you pray the prayer, and you, you, I suppose you say amen. And then, you know, you you, you write down on, on, on in your Bible above the psalm, you know, maybe um, 
three or four needs on that particular psalm or, or a passage, it doesn't have to be a psalm, another passage of scripture, which you continue to pray over and over again to um, achieve the result and to improve the sanctification of what you're praying for. It's best to use the word of God to sanctify your prayers. You're likely to have better results that way because it's the prayer is suiting God's kingdom, which is shown in the scriptures. Now, Noahites should ideally use Genesis 1 to Genesis 11, 9 a fair bit, uttering those passages a fair bit. But I think the book of Psalms from the Hebrew Bible is okay. And, uh, well, if you're in the advancing element, you can use our Psalms as well to use as the basis for your prayers. And, of course, in the advancing element, praying the Psalms themselves to God is probably generally a good idea as well. A lot of them are suitable for prayers. So, um, that's, that's just... Uh, uh, God answers prayers too, and God likes big prayers. The bigger the prayer, the more likely you're going to get better results. So this is a second Genesis sermon, God answers prayers too.